<laughs> Here we go again. Well, winter is on its way. It really is. And I've got my sock hat on. Well, it's quite thin, see? Mm -hmm. But it keeps my noggin from getting cold. And it's getting cold out there. Let me show you guys. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm going to minimize my little face. And look at this. Old Faithful Geyser. Let's take a look at how Old Faithful's doing. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's not so bad. Old Faithful's go going right here. People are walking up. But look at this. There is snow in Yellowstone. Woohoo! All right. That's not why we're here today. We're here for Revit. <clears throat> we're here to take a look at another Revit tip. And so, anyway. What I'm talking about today, my friends, is adjustable and variable thickness of your roofing materials. And this actually applies to other things like floors, roofs, what else? Maybe soffit, that kind of stuff. I know that it works on um, floors and I know it works on roofs. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Variable thickness of material. <gasps> What's that? What is that anyway? Tell me, Mike. Okay. Okay. Calm down. I'll tell you. Here we go. Let's take a look at our building in 3D here. A ah, beautiful little mock-up building. All right. Here's what I'm talking about. You guys see this little awning out here? This little piece of roofing that I've got sticking out. <clears throat> now, what it? Well, I don't know how realistic that is unless I've got some major cantilever action going on for that to be stuck straight out like that. I just put it there. So why don't we do something about it that's more realistic? Okay, so let me show you. If I click on this guy here and I want to um, slope it a little bit. If I say modify sub elements, did you see that? Modify sub elements. I can pick this back, the back here, or I can pick these corners. And let me say I raise that up, I don't know, one foot. Okay, I'm hit enter. Look what it does. It cranks the whole roof at an angle and it's now sloped the underside. I'm like, uh, I didn't really want to do that. See, it's got it at an angle. It's like, hmm. I'm not really liking that because that's not realistic either. You got to really figure out how to do that. I mean, get some structural engineer on that. So I'm going to hit undo. So look what we're going to do. Hey, thickness is extreme. Okay, so check this out. I am going to click on that roof. Okay, I just this is cool. And I'm going to edit type. Work with me here. And I'm going to click. You see the side view here? I'm going to edit. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm editing the structure here. You can see a preview of it on the left. The structure is wood stud. What if I came all the way over to the right? Right, right down over there. Right, but it's backwards. That way, to get to this checkbox for variable, variable thickness. Oh, what in the world does that do? Well, we're about to find out, friends. I'm going to say OK twice. And I'm going to now, just want to show you, edit. I'm, if I click on that back piece right there and I say go up maybe a foot, one foot, do you see what that just did? It kept the base flat and the top slope. I could pick on this one right up here and say, eh, go down four inches. And that encroaches four inches down upon what was already the structure that's in it. But because it's variable, it's released. And so, enter. Look at that. So I can keep, I can crank this down as far as I want until it breaks. But take a look. Do you see how that works? Look at that. You kidding me? That is, and now it's got a flat bottom to it and sloped structure and a, an end piece, and that's more, much more realistic for me to actually build. I can work on the detail in section to show what's inside that, but that is how you use variable thickness. Now, wait for it. You're going to see something very cool. 
and you're okay you just gotta wait I'm gonna show you let's hear here on the ground I am going to place right here on the ground a piece of roofing and I'm gonna show you something cool and so let me just mm -hmm, I'm gonna go to architecture I'm gonna say roof and uh, let's just put it on the first floor okay a piece of roofing down on the first floor and let's just keep it simple people I'm just going to make a, a square right there I'm going to make these sides not define a slope so that it's flat okay but the roof that I want is not a generic roof I'm gonna let me give you something with some insulation in it okay insulation so there we go we've got insulated roofing here I'm gonna drag it over to this cut edge so we can see what's going on all right now this is sliced open so you can see it a little bit better okay but it's not exactly where we want let me just show you what I'm talking about if I click on this piece of roofing okay and I say edit type okay these are my different um, materials and it's hard to see the insulation when it's gray like that so I'm gonna go into structure and I'm gonna click on the insulation and I'm gonna change it so it's a little bit blue so that it's easier to see where I'm from the insulations bluish okay I'm just gonna let's just keep it simple Mike there's blue okay whatever I don't even care what color blue okay see look you can see it over there now the insulation is bluish but here's the trick follow <coughs> excuse me follow along insulation three inches of insulation make it variable thickness I can make it two inches of insulation if that's what's going on this roof but variable thickness allows me to thicken it and thin it in other places using modify sub elements so here we go wait for it wait for it I'm gonna say okay okay again now you can let me, let me show you see oh you can see it better there now here we go I'm gonna click on this guy I'm gonna say edit sub elements and I'm gonna put in a split line okay I'm just gonna put in a line cross the other side of this thing <laughs> straight on across okay there's my little split line no big deal but if I say edit sub elements wait for it I can pick this side over here and go up two feet can you see what just happened people on a roof you can set these split lines wherever you want on the roof and then pick your corners of your roof I'll pick this corner right here and I'll just I'll pick the back whatever I'll pick the back corner and I'll ram it up like um I don't know two feet now let me just swing around here and show you what happened this thing this thing is tapering the, I've got a tapered roof now and it's the insulation that's tapering now two feet of thick and insulation is ridiculous and nobody does that but I can see your wheels spinning inside your heads. You can make a roof on top of a flat roof or a slightly sloped roof, and then you can modify the sub elements to kick up cants against the perimeter or the parapet wall. Unbelievable. This is very, very, very useful. So I want you guys to go try this. Release one of the materials by checking the little box for variable thickness and then see what happens when you modify the sub elements. I hope this helped you guys with your reveting and uh, until another video, be sure to, hey, let me get bigger. Oh, big picture. Hey, be sure to put your comments down below and ask some questions and even make some suggestions for future videos. Happy reveting. Talk to you later.